This podcast is part of the Blueberry Network, where listeners and podcasters come together. Find out more at blueberrywithnoease.com. The Eat Sleep Right podcast is brought to you by generous grant from the Built on Dreams Media Network, with additional funding by the Sims Media Foundation, and from the generosity of listeners like you. Stand by, please. Rolling on set now. On set. Welcome to Lessons on the Writer's Voice. Gain trusted advice and perspective from writers featured on Each Sleep Write. Use every moment you can learning the craft of writing by listening while on the go, in your car, at the gym, or while you're on break at work. Each Sleep Write is here to help you become the writer you've dreamed of being. Each Sleep Write is also brought to you by the generous cooperation of Writer's World Facebook group. Join Writer's World on Facebook a solicitation-free group for writers of fiction, nonfiction, and poetry, a writing group that concentrates on critiques of posted material. A Poetry Lesson on Limerick by Nikki Ann Schmutz, Poetry Editor of Eat Sleep Write, read by Adam Skull. Today we learn about the limerick. As a child, I equated limerick with St. Patrick's Day. Looking back, I'm not sure why. Perhaps one of my grade school teachers read us something silly about a leprechaun during a poetry lesson, and the similarity between the two words stayed with me. Limerick, leprechaun. In actuality, the two fit together quite nicely. Limerick is based on light verse and wordplay. The limerick is comical, nonsensical, and sometimes lewd. The style is common in poetry for children, as it is fun and entertaining. No one really knows the origin of the limerick. They are found in the Mother Goose Rhymes circa 1791. They appear in the 18th century Mother Goose's Melodies, as well as in Edward Lear's Book of Nonsense in 1846. Lear preferred the term nonsense instead of limerick and wrote many funny verses like the following. There was an old man with a beard who said it is just as I feared. Two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren, have all built their nests in my beard. Other well-known writers who have written limericks are Lord Alfred Tennyson, Rudyard Kipling, Robert Louis Stevenson, and W.S. Gilbert. Composed of five lines, the limerick follows a strict rhyming scheme. Its bouncy rhythm makes memorization easy. Limericks often start with, There once was a or there was a. The first two lines rhyme with each other and have the same number of syllables, typically eight or nine. The third and fourth rhyme together and also have the same number of syllables, five or six. The fifth line either repeats the first line or rhymes with it. If it differs from the first line, it has the same syllable count as the first line. Limericks use anapestic rhythm an accentual pattern that contains many sets of double weakly stressed syllables. The pattern can be illustrated with dashes showing weak syllables and backslashes for stresses. Limericks can be tricky to write, but when the rules are followed, you end up with a catchy, lyrical, and entertaining poem for all to enjoy. Let's work together in building our skills, clarifying our poetic vision, and making our words accessible to those who read them. If you're looking for a community that can offer you tools, support, and advice to start your own adventures in writing, then prepare to have the cauldron of your imagination stirred. I started the Eat Sleep Write podcast so more people can understand what it's like to be a writer and to get more eyes on your books. My goal is to help you achieve the success you so richly deserve. I salute your success in writing. Thank you for listening to another edition of the Eat Sleep Write podcast located at eatsleepwrite.net. Please send any questions, comments, or suggestions to comments at eatsleepwrite.net. Please consider a donation to support the Eat Sleep Write podcast. 
donations can be sent to our PayPal address at donations at eatsleepright.net. Once in a lifetime, the theme music for the Eat Sleep Right podcast, courtesy of Stephen Paul, all rights reserved, used by permission. Please join us again for the next edition of the Eat Sleep Right podcast.